What is up, YouTube? What is up, Beatbox community? It is your girl, JK, and welcome, welcome, welcome to the Scooter Squad. If you are new, please make sure to go to the links in the description. That is one of the most important things about this whole video, or about my videos, is please showing love to the original video and the artist or artists and all the links that I can find in the description. The other thing that is really important to me and I hope is really important to you guys, something I like to bring awareness about, is mental health awareness, suicide health awareness, and um, or suicide awareness and mental health and like healthiness journey, my healthiness journey, my vulnerability. Um, and I just want you to know that your life is important. Wherever you at, Wherever, wherever you are at in this world, no matter what you've experienced, no matter what has been spoken to you, the abuse or not, I don't know what's going on in your life or what's causing these negative, not healthy, not true, not good thoughts, or whatever's going on in your season of life, I believe that we are all on a journey of healthiness and growing to be healthier people, and I want to encourage you on that journey. So before we get into this reaction, I just want you guys to know that I will have links to hotlines, different websites that are really important, um, that are hotline links where you can call and reach out to someone that is willing to talk to you that isn't going to bash you or make you feel already worse than you do. So I think it's really important to raise awareness about these things because it's something that I personally have overcome. But there's other links for things that I haven't obviously experienced and I want everyone to know that this is a safe space on my channel. Um, I'm not perfect, um, but I just want to share my journey with you guys and hope that I can encourage you be a light on this earth, be a light in this platform and again like just encourage you guys to live your healthiest life i'll have a more of a encouraging message at the end of this video but please again just know that your life is worth living you are important you are significant you are worthy you are chosen you are gifted you are special you are unique and just i believe that and i want you guys to know that you are important and just know that your life is worth living please don't take your life and please seek help if you're having a tough time, no matter what that is, it doesn't have to be on that spectrum of wanting to commit suicide. But I know that there are a lot of people that struggle with that, a lot of people that struggle with comparison and doubting themselves. And I just want to encourage you on the other side of this screen, I guess, wherever you're out in the world, that you are enough and you can become healthier and handle things in a better way next time. And yeah, don't carry that shame around. Um, yeah. Other than that, guys, other than that little spiel, thank you so much for the subs. We have hit over a thousand in basically five months, and it's insane. And I don't say that to brag at, or at all or, like, boast. I'm just saying that because it's blowing my mind that I honestly think thought it would take me, like, at least six months to even get 500. And it's just really cool, the love and the respect and the honor you guys have been giving me. And I want to give that back as always. I just want to continue to be a light. Um, I am going to check out a couple other genres of music. Um, I'm nervous about the copyright thing, but you know, it happens as the channel gets bigger and I'm going to react to other things. Uh, but I want to continue to just take suggestions as best as I can. Um, please be mindful of profanity, guys. And guys and gals, please be mindful of what the video represents. I really don't want to get into anything political, anything religious, um, anything that bashes or judges or shames other people, other cultures, other lifestyles. I'm not about that. This is, again, a safe space for everybody. Please respect everybody. Respect yourself. And now I'm going on to a five-minute intro. Here we go. So, no. For real, for real, for real, thank you guys so much. Please show love to the original video. Please show love to these artists and headphones. I must. I've been working a lot lately and I just let my hair do what it wants today. So yeah. Let's go. I love Chum Bao and Chew All out there. So Incredible. there's a question that I've been asking myself for the last few years. Is in what drag a sound or a pattern? I see it as the pattern. Yeah, the pattern is the, um, yeah, the, there's the sound itself, but it's that pattern and that technique together that you still hear to this day. I it basically know. just works with the diaphragm in such a crazy way. I 
what's up, yo? This is Chihuahua. And this is Chumbao. And we have both been a fan of the Ingwa Drag. And it's crazy to see how it has evolved over the years and how many modern beatbox techniques nowadays are inspired by the concept of Ingwa Drag. By no means this is the full list of all the Ingwa Drag in the world ever. But this is rather an observation on a technique in the beatbox community. So stick around to the end for the conversation between us and Reef Swan. But for so, now, here are 50 types of inward drag. That's insane. <laughs> Hit me with the bass line.
Nobody can give me light. So that was 50 types of inward drag and again this is definitely not a complete list and if you break it down a lot of these drags are in fact variations or hybrids of others like for example we have a sucker punch drag right like a so it's so let's replace the inward style with uh with and then uh maybe with and then we can still do or you know so maybe like so normally I would do, but now we do so two sounds in and one sound outward. So I never done that before and that potentially can be a new drag. But man, the concept of combining sound and create this harmony in breathing is definitely why the inward drag revolutionized the beatbox community. Let us know in the comment below how many types of inward drag you can do. But for now, here's a conversation with the man who coined the term inward drag. Yo, Reeves one, can you give us the best inward drag in the world right now? I, I, can, I can definitely give you my inward drag. So, So yeah, that's a Reeves one in my drag. Whoa, that's mad, man. Legendary. So how old is the Reeves one in my drag? So I guess the original... That would have... The first time I remember doing it is nearly, I'd say about nine to ten years old. Wow, that's a decade old inward drag, man. So this technique is definitely one of the most revolutionary techniques in the beatbox community. Why do you think it has as big of an impact? Doing the inward drag, you're using your whole diaphragm and, and what I call your engine to basically do this extremely fast um, like movement. And, uh, and in, you're not supposed to be able to do that with your body, let alone beatboxing. 
Yes, speed and power is uh, definitely why I love the inward drag so much. Can you tell us the story, how you came up with this technique? So that sound, um, like I really believe in not claiming or pushing anything, but if you're asking, um, I came up with that term because of an accident. I had a routine, mm. which was super basic, which was <laughs> basically myself and my best friend, Lyndon J. We tried to score that routine using drum notation. So we had to make a key and name all the mm. sounds. And Lyndon yeah. said to me, what do you call that weird inward sound that you do? Um, and I was like, oh, well, I'm using it to get breath because I, I don't have, at the time, I didn't have many inward sounds. I was like, oh, I guess it's like a, it's like a inward drag. And um, I had no idea that writing down that name that day, 10 years from then, there would be an entire beatbox culture using that term, using that pattern. So it's pretty crazy because I'd never normally say like, I definitely 100% invented that sound. But then that one, that was 100% me because it was due to my weakness as a beatboxer that I couldn't do inward sounds. Um, and it's so funny that my weakness led to maybe one of the biggest wow. contributions in the in the culture. And I've heard lots of people mention, like talk about it. And it's definitely a sound that like all, I think, beatboxers know the name of. I feel like you were the first person to really like take that idea and try to to find ways of defining its evolution because you, you you try to almost define it as a genre, like a whole its own branch of trees, like the, the new and new inward mm -hmm. drag, which I really love. And, and it's things like that that make me feel so like inspired. I hate the idea that you ever kind of say to someone, that's mine. Mm -hmm. What you're doing is you're holding back the growth of the culture and uh, you don't have any control over that. You just got to get excited and enjoy the fact that you've inspired people and you have to just keep leveling up in some way. Yeah. And say nice. like, oh yeah, I invented that or this was me. It, the energy you give out should kind of prove that for you. And um, and I, I feel like maybe you calling me today is an example of that. So, Wow, thank you, man. That's definitely an inspiring story as well. Thank you so much for your words. And it's always been inspiring speaking to you. I hope everyone who watches this video also feel the same. Yeah, man, I always appreciate our chats. Thanks for coming and hope you have a great day. Yeah, peace. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Nobody can give me like... Um, all right, guys. Well, that was insane. I think it's really cool that they got to do that interview with Reeps One, and he's just obviously a legend and incredibly talented in his own right. But I think that was just insane. My brain was trying to process everything that just happened. I don't think I processed all of the sounds. I'm going to have to go back and listen to that. But they're both incredibly talented. And it's interesting because I'm learning about beatbox now more um and understanding kind of sort of what the sounds are i don't know all the names of the types of sounds and styles obviously um because i'm new to the beatbox community i'm not i've had a couple people instagram dm me lately and ask me if i'm a beatboxer and i'm like no i don't plan on being a beatboxer i don't plan on learning um i think it's incredibly inspiring music i think it's incredibly enjoyable and i absolutely love beatbox looping and just the obvious journey that i've grown on understanding about beatbox and the community of it but it is not for me to do um, but please guys i just want to say this please go always continue to show respect to the artist because i've been hearing a couple different things ever since gbb and sometimes the community can get toxic or like i guess people can be toxic and please just respect every single artist every single judge whether it's a gvb whether it's an online competition you know please respect artists please respect people in their craft please don't spread hate please spread positivity even if the style of beatbox or music is not for you that doesn't mean you bash on that person because they work really hard on what they're doing like even if this style wasn't for you and if you didn't like it or you, it might not have fit your taste please don't hate on other people so i'm just going to continue to spread that light and 
be as you're being a healthy person, you spread healthiness around you. And that doesn't mean we handle everything perfectly, but try and take control of your emotions and take control of your thoughts and how you react and not react to things and just treat others and speak to others how you would want to be spoken to and be treated, guys. Like, please. Um, last little message since I spoke a lot in my intro, as I talked about earlier, I want to encourage you guys on your healthiness journey. And something that has helped me is I have a journal and I have positive affirmations written down and a gratitude list written down. And I actually have sticky notes around and have different positive affirmations and quotes that really inspire me at this time. And I meditate on them and it really has shifted my life and my mental health and my attitude about my day and how I handle relationships and friendships and my job and all the things that come with life, right? And it's something that I've been doing consistently for, I would say, about six months now, five to six months. And now that it's been this period of time where I've been consistent with myself, I've noticed shifts in my energy, shifts in my mood. And I want to encourage you guys to do that as well. Um, like I did say, I will have hotline links below, but I will have a little message to say, remember to have your positive affirmations. Remember to have a list, have five to 10 that you really connect with and, and remind yourself of those daily. It's not just once a week. It's literally put an alarm on your phone, put an alarm on your in your kitchen. I don't know, wherever you hang out, on your computer, at school, um, at work, like have little notes of just reminding yourself of good things. Take the negative, throw that away, replace it with the positive. Okay, you guys, I just want to encourage you for that. And yeah, lastly, just know that your life is important. You're worth living. And I'm going to remind you that multiple times in a video because I think it's important because you're important. I'm important. You're important. And yeah, I just am grateful for the time that you give to me. And I want to give that light back to you guys. So Please continue to spread that light, be your truest self, be your healthiest self. And we are all on this journey called life growing and navigating through all of the things. Thank you so much for rocking with me. Thank you so much for the support and the love that you're giving me. And I will catch you guys at the next video. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.